Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts video. And as you can see from the title, I'm going to be counting down my favorite Arrow Video box sets from 35 to one. Now, I don't have every box set that Arrow ever made, so I'm gonna count down the 35 favorites that I have in my collection. If you would like to do a video collection of your favorite uh, Arrow Video box sets, I would love to see it so tag me or comment below let me know if you're gonna do one and I'll make sure to pop over and show support to your channel also I want to say hello to my newest subscribers I've been getting a few here and there so I appreciate that and YouTube hasn't really been doing a great job of informing me the new subscribers I get I, I see that I'm getting more but it doesn't notify me who and sometimes it takes up to a month before that refreshes and I can see who's actually subbed so if you are a new subscriber and you want to comment down below and say hello, that would be great. I'd love to hear from you and possibly I will go check your channel out and subscribe to you as well. So as you can see, I do have kind of an organized mess going on here. There is a method to my madness for all this stuff. I do have my little cheat notes here in case I forget which numbers I'm on, but I do have 35 that I'm going to show. And again, these are just the 35 I have. I don't have them all. so. And I'm going to show two bonus ones at the end, and then I'm going to show you a little stack that didn't quite make the list. But let's jump into it here with the first one. This is Stray Cat Rock. This is a five movie set. This is the Region B, which was limited to 2000. There was also a Region A that was re-released. This one is sealed because this is more collectible. This one's pretty expensive right now. I do have the Region A, and that's my viewing copy. But the five movies that you get are The Delinquent Girl Boss, Wild Jumbo, Sex Hunter, Machine Animal, and Beat 21. And it comes in this nice little kind of a digipack style packaging, but it's a little more sturdier than some of the other ones that have been previously released from Arrow. And then some of the more recent ones have a really nice hard shell to it. So this is kind of in between. And this one is the Blu-ray and DVD combo of all the films. And it's actually Beat 71. I guess I kind of misread that a little bit. So it looks like, it, I don't know how I thought that was Beat 21. I was mistaken. But uh, the series stars Miko Kaji, who was in Lady Snowblood and Blind Woman's Curse. These are very good films. It's, it's excellent Japanese cinema. So if you guys are fairly new to the Japanese cinema world, this would be a good one to start with. And even if you're not new to the Japanese cinema world and you don't own this one, this is highly recommended. So that is Stray Cat Rock. The next one is some more Japanese goodness. And this is the Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection. And this one comes with a hardcover book there at the top, The Female Prisoner Scorpion, The Complete Collection. And they each come in their own Amore case. And they go from bottom to top in order. So you got Female Prisoner number 701, Scorpion. Then you have Jailhouse 41, Beast Stable, and Grudge Song. And this one was limited to 4,000 copies. And this is a very nice box set. It is unrated and it is blu-ray dvd combos region a for this set the next one is kinji fukasaku's battles without honor and humanity the complete collection this is an excellent box set again it comes with a hardcover book at the top called the yakuza papers and this is a japanese mafia series and again, from the bottom going to the top, you have Volume 1, Battles Without Honor and Humanity. Volume 2 is Hiroshima Deathmatch, or Hiroshima, however you prefer to pronounce that. Volume 3 is Proxy War. 
Volume 4 is Police Tactics, and Volume 5 is Final Episode. And this is strongly recommended. This was limited, but uh, let's see if it says on the back what it was limited to. 2,500 copies for this set. And it looks like it is 14 discs. And discs 11, 12, 13... Oh, I'm sorry, it's 13 discs, are limited to this box set, and then you get the Yakuza Papers book, which is also limited to this set. So that is a really nice collectible, a nice series. The next one is Clive Barker's Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 box set on Blu-ray. You get uh, Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2, Hellbound, and Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. They each come in their own Amory case, but there's no book with these. This is kind of the more, I guess, standard edition. And these all come with 2K restorations. And he will tear your soul apart. Pinhead. That one is number 32. Number 31 is the Battle Royale box set. This is the limited edition. And this one was limited, but it, I think it was limited to like 20,000 or something like that, or 100,000, because this one was available forever. It came out in 2010, and I, I think these are still available on their website, and they're trying to get, you know, they're trying to give these away pretty much now. So I think you can still go to their website and find this. It shouldn't be very expensive at all, but this is all region ABC, and you get the... Disc one is the theatrical cut with special features. Disc two is the special edition director's cut with special features. Disc three is a special features only. So this is the three disc limited edition. I, okay, it does say it's limited to 10,000 right there. And you do get a, uh, an individual card on the inside of the box set that tells you what number you have. But this is a really good series, and it's, uh, to me, 10 times better than The Hunger Games. This is more of an adult version of The Hunger Games, with complete with gore and violence. So you get uh, a comic and postcards, booklets, and the three discs. Really, really nice edition, Battle Royale. And so number 30, this is the Bob Hoskins double feature. The Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa. I really like this series. This is a six disc special edition and I have since learned that this is called a belly band. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of these because they're so cheaply made and they're, at any time they can pop open, but uh, this particular set is a six disc edition. Um, let me see if it says what this was limited to. I think it was like 2000. But you get The Long Good Friday, discs one and two is a Blu-ray DVD. Uh, limited edition exclusive, you get The Long Good Friday, discs three and four, Blu-ray and DVD. Um, complete with interviews and uh, extended, extended interviews, Q and A's. Let's see, for Mona Lisa, you get discs five and six, the Blu-ray DVD. And you also get a 100-page hardback book, limited edition to this particular box set. So this is a beauty. I'm not going to spend time opening all these up because there's a lot of stuff to show and I don't want to make another hour-long video again. So I'm just going to kind of keep moving along. But these are, um, this is uh, number 30 on my list. Number 29 is a DVD set. And this is a six-film box set called X-Rental. And the box is made to look like it's severely beat up, like it's been a rental, but it's actually in mint, pristine condition. I just want to point that out because it, it looks like hell right now, but it's that's the way it's made to look like that. So you get uh, Penitentiary, The Cheerleaders, Maniac Cop, McBain. You also get Revenge of the Cheerleaders and Penitentiary 2. Those are the six movies. And these are from the Aerodrome. This was back when Cult Labs used to collaborate with Arrow Films, with Arrow Video, and they used to make the uh, 
the window boxes and all that stuff. This was a really good time. This was when um, Aero Video was pretty much in their infancy and they have grown so much and I'm glad to see that. So that is number 29. I was with Aero Video from the beginning. I'm proud to say that too. So let me pull from this next pile. This is another DVD box set. And this is a big window box. This is the Dario Argento, the Neo Giallo collection. And this box set comes with Terror at the Opera, also known in the US as just Dario Argento's Opera. You get the Stendhal Syndrome, Sleepless, and the Card Player. Look at that art there. You got the little window box, and this box set comes with each of the films on their own discs with reversible covers and some of these if not all of them have posters they used to give a lot of posters with their releases so that is number 29 let's see here I'm sorry that was number 28 this is number 27 I'm already losing my <laughs> numbers here but this is the uh, Terror Awaits Inside. This one is called The Fantastic Factory Presents. Faust, Love of the Damned. Roma Santa, The Werewolf Hunt. Beyond Reanimator and Arachnid. And these are kind of like drive-in style films. And there you can see that beautiful artwork again. And then it comes in this window box. And you get all of the movies on their own. Amore cases. So that is, um, that's number 27. And now we are on to number 26. This is the Donnie Darko box set. I really do enjoy this movie. I was on the fence about picking up this edition. And then I saw other YouTubers unbox it. And I saw how nice a box set this was. I had to grab it. And this one comes with a book, the director's cut, and the theatrical cut. And you get 4K restorations of both of, of the uh, the theatrical cut and director's cut are in 4K. And then look at all these bonus features you get. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. So you can see why this one is number 26 on my list. Number 25 is the Dr. Fibes Complete Collection, starring Vincent Price. Love this box set. You get um, the Abominable Dr. Fibes and Dr. Fibes Rises Again, plus you get the complete Dr. Fibes handbook. I suppose I'll pull these out just to show you the book. But the only thing I don't really like about the set is they're kind of in these paper digipacks. And you can see already, I, I take really good care of my stuff, but you can see how the, the spines get a little dilapidated. They kind of pull in instead of having that nice crisp edge and I'm a little bit picky about that kind of stuff but um, this is a beautiful set I'm not going to complain but check out this book here you got a hundred page book going over the two movies um, nice stills and write-ups and everything that you need to know about the Dr. Fives collection just a beautiful piece really enjoy this box set and that's why it's number 25 on my list. Number 24 is Carrie, Brian De Palma film. And this is a really nice box set as well. I was kind of on the fence about picking this one up as well because I do have the Scream Factory Deluxe Edition. But I found this for a really good price and I pulled the trigger. I'm glad I did. Uh, this is the Region B. <clears throat> Comes in a nice hard case. You get the Amore case and a poster and a book, a pretty thick book. I'm not gonna pull it out, but this is just beautiful. Really nice set. I think I got this for $20 shipped, which is unbelievable, so I grabbed it. And Carrie was number 24. For this next one, I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit. I'm gonna put two movies in one spot. And these are the Necromantic films. You get Necromantic and Necromantic 2 by Jorg Butgerite. And to be honest, I, 
I'm not a fan of these films, but I'm a fan of the packaging that Arrow put in. These are these are really not horror movies to me. These are kind of like uh, I would classify these as like gore porn or shock porn. You know, just I mean, it's these aren't horror movies, but they are cult classics and cult favorites. I, they're just not my cup of tea, but I really love these editions. You get a digi pack, and then you get a book. And let me see here, you get, uh, this is a three disc set. You get the director approved limited edition contents. Limited to 3000, you get a certificate inside to tell you which number you have. And you get uh, a Blu-ray and a DVD. And there's also some Bukharit short films in here. And you also get a CD soundtrack for the film. And then there's a 100 page book inside. So, I mean, Arrow Video, for a movie like this, they really killed it. That's that's a great job by Arrow Video. And then this next one, Necromantic 2, some more of the same. It's another three disc, director's approved, 3000 with the certificate on the inside, 100 page book, a Blu-ray DVD and a CD and a 100 page book. I mean, I, I think I said that twice, but they are nice additions, but I'm putting those both together as number 23. Number 22 is Brian Usna's Society. This is a trippy movie. I enjoy it. It's not one I would watch often, but I would watch it maybe once or twice a year, I would say, maybe. But um, again, you get the digipack and the nice thick book. Director approved, limited edition. It doesn't say on the back what this was limited to, but it is all region. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. And uh, just a, you can tell by the cover, that's the type of movie that is just very, very bizarre. But there's some good imagery in that movie. And that was number 22. Number 21 is David Cronenberg's Videodrome. I knew I had to get this one, even though I do have this one on, on the Criterion Blu-ray edition. Um, I saw what uh, Arrow Video was going to put out, and <clears throat> they killed it again. You get some of David Cronenberg's early works. You get Videodrome, and these are both in digipacks. And then you get a book, Long Live the New Flesh. And it's limited, but I don't know what it's limited to. It doesn't say on the back. But it is a four-disc set, and you get the collector's book, which is another 100-page book. And who doesn't like Videodrome? I mean, it's, I guess it's not for everybody. There, there are probably some people that don't like Videodrome, but I enjoy it. I, I, I like Cronenberg that way, though. He's, he's a good director. So that was number 21. So now we are into the top 20. I'm gonna take a sip of tea really quick. And coming in at number 20 is Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes, the original. I always enjoyed this film, and this was a limited edition, but it seemed like this was available forever. And it, as in a matter of fact, I had like two or three editions of this at one time, and I gave one away in a contest, and I think I traded the other one. And this is the last copy I have, but this is the 4K restoration of the film. And it's just a, a creepy, I, I like the whole franchise, and I, I even like the uh, remakes in the remake franchise, but actually I like the remakes a little bit better even, but this is a good film and this is uh, something that I grew up watching, renting the videos back in the 80s. This came out in the late 70s actually, but by the time I was renting it, it was in the 80s and this is a film from 77. Crazy inbred uh, mountain people stalking uh, stranded travelers. You guys all saw the movie. So that was number 20. Number 19 is a Dario Argento film, and that is the Cat O' Nine Tales. And I really love what they're doing with all the Argento releases, putting them in the hard shell like this, and then they're giving you a nice book, a poster, and the Blu-ray Amory case. And these are beautiful, and it's a 4K restoration. And these films are probably never going to look better than they are now. I don't know if these will ever get an upgrade, but they may. But um, this is region A, you get the Blu-ray DVD combo. So this one is part of the 
Animal Trilogy. So, yeah, that's a nice one. I, I recommend picking that one up, and I recommend picking up any Argento film. That one was number 19. So now we are on to 18. And that one is George A. Romero's Between Night and Dawn. These are the films that Romero f filmed between Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead. And those were The Crazies, Season of the Witch, and There's Always Vanilla, plus you get the nice book at the top there. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo, and it is all region. So this is very friendly for people overseas. And this is just another beautiful box that comes in a nice hard cover. And everything about it is nice. I like the color scheme that they use. The purple and the orange kind of goes good together, I think. So that's number 18. Number 17 <clears throat> is one that's probably going to be a little bit higher on most people's list. But for me, it's 17. This is John Carpenter's The Thing. I do enjoy this movie. I, I, I like it a lot, but I, I, don't, I don't love it like a lot of you guys do. You get a nice thick book. I think there's also a poster, and then you get the Amory case. It is the 4K restoration. So uh, I have watched the Steelbook edition of this, but I have not opened this edition yet. And it looks great. I mean, it looks really good. This is Region B. Man is the warmest place to hide. I always like that tagline, going back to the VHS days with the posters on the wall and the box art. And you get a ton of special features. All these are the special features for this edition. So that is the thing. And that's number 17. <clears throat> number 16, I'm kind of cheating again. It's Creep Show 2, but it's two different editions of Creep Show 2. Why? Because one of them is a US release and one of them is a Canadian release. And I actually, I think it's backwards. I think, uh, I can't remember now which one is which. I think this is the US release, the red one. And I think the purple one was the Canadian release. Let me see if it says on the back. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter which one is which, but they both have exactly the same features, the same discs, the same special features and all that stuff. They're both region A. One just has a different color than the other one, and I thought they were both cool. So I picked them both up. And those are number 16. Number 15 was one that I was really happy to pick up because these are three movies I had never seen before until Arrow put these out. That is Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came From the Sea, and The Premonition. And these are all American kind of drive-in style films. You come comes with a nice book too. I'm not gonna pull that out, but um, let me see if it says on the back what it was limited to. It doesn't say, but these are all films from the 70s, the early to mid 70s, and it's this is region free, ABC, Blu-ray DVD combo. It was just good to have a set like this that, you know, that they're kind of, I guess they're gonna have a volume two or maybe they're already taking pre-orders for it which i'll get that eventually but it was good to see this you know that they have these drive-in style films available and that was number 15. number 14 is another argento film this is called the bird with the crystal plumage blu-ray dvd combo love this movie this is a 4k restoration of it you get all these special features and uh 1970 young first-time director Dario Argento made his indelible mark on Italian cinema with Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Argento's early stuff was his best by far. And let's see, the next one is number 13. This is The Bride of Reanimator, Brian Usna. These are uh, digipacks again. And what you get is the three disc limited edition with a 2K restoration of the unrated and R-rated versions of the film. Um, disc one is a Blu-ray, disc two is a DVD, and disc three is a Blu-ray. Plus you get the Reanimator Dawn of the Reanimator limited edition exclusive, which is a perfect bound 
booklet containing Reanimator, Dawn of Reanimator, the 1992 comic prequel to Stuart Gordon's original Reanimator. Reprinted in its entirety. So this is all region, and this is one of my favorite editions. Very good film too, by the way. Love that edition. That is number 13. Number 12 is a really nice box set here for us in the U.S. because this is the first time we had the whole house collection on Blu-ray or even on DVD. I know in the U.K. they had the box set, I think, of the first three for a while, but this is the first time I can remember having all four. So you get the House Companion, which is a nice hardcover book. You get House, House 2, the second story, House 3, the horror show, and House 4, the repossession. And this is a really, really nice box set. This is Region B, Region 2. Because I know there were some rights issues because I think Scream Factory still owns the horror show, I think. I'm not exactly sure why. You know, I don't know if they're eventually they'll put out a Region A for that one. But for now, I'm glad to have that one. And that is number 12 on my list. Number 11 is another Argento film. This is Phenomena. And this is the 4K restoration of the film. It looks beautiful. You get a 60-page booklet. This is Region B, and uh, it stars a very young Gen Jennifer Connelly. And you get two different cuts of the film. You get the U.S. cut that was Creepers. I think this is a little bit shorter. This phenomena is the uncut, I believe. And you also get the 60-page book. That's a beautiful edition. And that was number 11. And on to number 10. We got the top 10 here now. This is the Killer Dames box set by Emilio P. Maraglia. And for a while, these were released on DVD in the U.S. by a company called No Shame, not to be confused with Shameless. And when No Shame went out of, out of business, all their titles were very scarce. And these were part of that catalog, and they were really, really expensive. So now you have the Blu-ray box set, and this is a really nice one to get. You get the Red Queen Kills seven times, and the Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, plus you get a nice thick book. And it, this was limited to 3,000. It is region A and B, and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo, so you get region one and two for your DVDs. Really recommend picking this one up if you guys can grab this one. Number nine is Death Walks Twice, Luciano Ercoli, two films. You get Death Walks on High Heels and Death Walks at Midnight, and these were also from the company called No Shame. And I actually have the No Shame DVD box set, which at one time it was going for about like 200 bucks. I think now they're probably giving them away because this is such a upgrade to that set. But you get the two movies plus the book, and it's limited to 3,000. Region A, B, Region 1, 2. One I strongly recommend. And that was number nine. Number eight is Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cats. Two films by Sergio Martino and Lucio Fulci. So you get Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key by Martino and The Black Cat by Fulci, plus you get this nice book. So this was limited to 3,000. It is region A, B, and region 1, 2. Really nice set. Number seven is Argento's Deep Red. This is the region B edition. I'm probably gonna get the region A, too, because it has a little bit of a sturdier uh, slip box. I'm not sure if I'll read if I'll double dip on this one. I probably will, and then maybe I'll sell this, or I don't know why I'd keep both. But um, this one, you get a poster, a book, and the movie, and this is a three-disc limited edition. You get uh, two versions of the film. You get the original version on disc one, and you get the export version, which is the limited edition exclusive to this set. 
and you get the CD soundtrack on disc three, which I think on the new set you don't get the CD soundtrack. So I may just keep this one, featuring music by Goblin, of course. <clears throat> and this is the Region B, like I said. So I may just keep this one. This one has more features than the new one. The only thing that the new one has better is the harder box. And that's number seven. Number six is a good slasher that I enjoyed watching on the VHS days. and. I had it on DVD and now Blu-ray, so this is Pieces. It's exactly what you think it is. And the other tagline was, you don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. You get the Amory case, the book, and the poster, and a 4K transfer. Two versions of the film. You get the U.S. theatrical version, and you get the uncensored director's cut presented in Spanish. That is the Blu-ray exclusive to this box set. It is Region B, and it does have uh, English subtitles if you guys are interested in that for the second one, for the second film. And you get all these special features. Love this movie. Number six. Number five, one of my favorite movies of all time. This is Stuart Gordon's Reanimator. It doesn't need any introduction. Everybody has seen this a million times, but this is one of my favorites. I love this. It's a two-disc limited edition, 4K restoration. You get the unrated and integral, integral versions. Um, and you also get the comic limited edition exclusive to this box set, which is a 92-page perfect bound book containing Reanimator, the original 1991 comic adaptation of the movie, reprinted in its entirety. Brian Usna, Stuart Gordon, Jim. I love this. Very good movie. A nice little blend of comedy and horror, and they did it right. So that's number that's number five. And speaking of comedy and horror done right, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two. Toby Hooper. Love this movie. It's a it's a great sequel to the original, which is my favorite horror movie of all time. Dennis Hopper, Bill Mosley, Caroline Williams. The cast is awesome. The characters were great. Comes in this nice little set here with these little digi packaging. This one was limited to 10,000, I believe, and for a long time this was available. It may still be available. This is the three disc limited edition, which includes disc one, the movie. Disc two is Toby Hooper's early works and let me see what is disc three. Disc three is a DVD. So you get two Blu-rays, a DVD, and a 100-page book. Um, everything you need to know and uh, enjoy for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. So number three, these are the bigger box sets. Number three for me is Don Coscarelli's Phantasm that comes with the Sphere. The sphere in there. And I mean, I'm not a real big fan of this cockamamie packaging here. I think it looks cool with the sphere, but uh, the way that this kind of lid pops off, I, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Um, for the limited edition special features, you get uh, all five Phantasm movies together on Blu ray plus a limited edition bonus disc featuring exclusive features. You get the Phantasm 2016 remaster. And of course you get Phantasm 2, Phantasm 3, Lord of the Dead, Phantasm 4, Oblivion, and Phantasm Ravager. Plus you get a bonus disc with documentaries and featurettes and all kinds of goodness, interviews, and uh, just a really nice collection of the Phantasm series. And it comes with the little sphere. I, I really like that. That's number three. Number four, I'm sorry, number two, what the hell am I talking about? Is the Hellraiser Scarlet box. And this would should probably be number one because it has Doug Bradley's signature on it but take that away and um, the box set is number two in my collection. And uh, this is another really nice edition. It's a four disc limited edition. 
with uh, 2K restorations of the films. You get Disc 1, Hellraiser, Disc 2, Hellbound, Disc 3, Hell on Earth, and for Disc 4, you get the Clive Barker Legacy Limited Edition Exclusive with short films from Clive Barker, and you get a 200-page book. It's just unbelievable. I'm not going to pull it all out because I would have to. I have opened this before, but I have the J card on the back, and I don't want to peel it apart right now. But it's a really nice set, and I I love this uh, Doug Bradley signature on the box, and I'll cherish this forever in my collection. So that's number two, and number one is the Vincent Price Six Gothic Tales by Edgar Allan Poe. I love this box set. I actually have two that I like better than this. I'm going to show you guys in a second. But for now, this is number one on my list. And this comes with The Fall of the House of Usher, Tales of Terror, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Raven, The Haunted Palace, The Tomb of Lagia. I never really knew how to pronounce that one. Um, then you get a nice hardcover book. And this was a really, really nice set. And I believe this one is long out of print now, and I, it's probably going for a pretty penny, I would say. I don't know what it was limited to, but I, I'm pretty sure this one sold out right away. And this is a beautiful set. I just, I don't really, I mean, I'm speechless. It's just a beautiful set, and the favorite of my collection. It would be the favorite of my collection, but these two are a little bit better because I have the Herschel Gordon Lewis feast set and this is like the cereal box size set and um, it comes with all kinds of bonus features you get the Herschel Gordon Lewis annual which is a 2016 book there at the top the second little digi packaging style booklet thing or um, packaging that they hold the discs in is called the films of Herschel Gordon Lewis volume 2 1968 to 72 and you get uh, volume 1 1963 to 1967 so that is a really nice set and I think the grand champion is this big bad boy here I think this one was limited to 250 pieces I've been asked by fellow youtubers if I can do an unboxing of this. This one is still sealed. I, I think I will, in a very soon upcoming video, I will do an unboxing of the Shock and Gore box set, the films of Herschel Gordon Lewis. This one was given to me, or wasn't really given to me. It was I bought it, but at a really good price by film director Tim Sullivan, and he also signed this little 8x10. Two Walnuts, H.G. Lewis Forever. Tim Sullivan got to work hand-in-hand hand with H.G. Lewis in uh, many of his films. And he was a, at the time, he was like a special, special effects makeup kind of guy. Now he's directing his own films. Very, very nice guy. He said he watches my videos, but I, I'm not sure if he does or not. But if he's out there, uh, God bless you, sir, for giving me the great deal on this. And I know there's a vinyl record in here and there's some other goodies. So I will do an unboxing at a different time very soon. Like probably within the next week I'll open this up. But I'm sure that there have been probably a million unboxings of this by now. It's been out for a while. It's been out for over a year now. So, But maybe I'll just do my little unboxing and do my take of it. So that is the Herschel Gordon Lewis Shock and Gore. That would be my favorite out of all my box sets. And the ones that didn't quite make the list or the ones that I didn't think you guys would be all that impressed with. I got the four Marx Brothers films. I love these, but they're not for everybody. I got uh, Bloodbath. Th this one's okay, but um, if you could get this for like 20 bucks or less, I would say pull a trigger on it. I got the... Fastbinder collection and um, you get the nice book and then his films I'm not going to get too in-depth in those I haven't watched them all anyway I can't really speak on all of them 
Here's one that I probably will like. I just haven't watched it yet. This is the Outlaw Gangster VIP, the complete collection. I couldn't add it in my favorites because I haven't watched it yet, but this was limited to 3,000. This is another one that was an, an impulse buy. I bought this online and I didn't really know anything about it. And uh, I still haven't watched it yet, but this little tagline at the top kind of scared me away a little bit. It said, he loved women, he loved men. And I, I was like, eh, you know what? I, not that, I mean, I don't have anything wrong with that. I just, I'll have to put that in my to watch pile at some point. I got the Taviani box set. Italian cinema and the last one is another one I haven't watched yet I'm really looking forward to this one it's a Japanese epic war series it's a nine-hour film called the human condition it's a trilogy it says one of the towering masterpieces in the world of Japanese cinema three-part war epic and it's over nine hours long I believe all together so I got a really set some good time uh, you know aside to uh, to watch those but that was it guys i hope you enjoyed my little countdown from what was it 35 and then some extra bonus ones if you guys are going to do your list let me know so i can watch it and i will definitely show support to your channel and uh, other than that take care guys and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching